Welcome to Gorilla Games Push Day. So today we're going to do four movements. There are optional two movements, back squats and split squats that we're not going to do today, but we are going to do four standard movements on the push day. For every movement, you're gonna do as many reps as possible. And when you do those reps, you're gonna to try to reach fatigue, the point where you can't do any more reps in the following ranges, depending on whether it is a medium, heavy, or light day. So this push day is going to take 10 to 20 minutes. We're going to rest about two minutes between sets, and we're gonna start with bench press. Bench press is gonna target your pecs and your triceps. And for this movement and for this entire day, you're going to need a bar, a pair of slings, bands, a plate, and a block. Uh, the block is somewhat optional. There are ways to do some of the movements without the block and we will link to those in the caption below. Just want to remind you at the beginning to do a little bit of a warm-up. 20 jumping jacks, you could do 10 leg swings per side, like, like so, while holding something, and 20 circles, just to warm up your body before you start the workout. I do this before any push or pull day. So let's set up for the first movement, which is bench press. So I do it on the plate. You can do it without the plate. You take the cork block, take your bar, either the T or the K, and choose a band that, if you're just starting, just undershoot, choose the easiest band. So load it up, so what I do is I take the bar, I put the slings on so that they're opening up towards me. So here, see, they're opened up towards me. And I take a band I'm going to use. Here's the light green band. Eventually, as you use more bands, you'll know what bands to pick to fatigue in the given range, depending on whether it's a light, medium, or heavy day. I have the bar set up, I take the plate, and I lean it on the cork block, like so. I have this set up, and this is going to be where you place your back. So I lift it up, I put the bands behind it, and place the bar on the cork block. Now we're ready for bench press, make sure it's pretty stable, and we're now going to get into the set. So I put my bum on the floor, like so, and lean back so that your head is actually in that cor curved portion. It feels pretty comfortable like this, and it helps you center your body. So this is a pretty, pretty relaxing position. And you reach back and turn your head as you pull the bar over. And now I have there, and then you can choose a width that feels more comfortable to you. Uh, what I do is I choose a width that's aligned with my shoulders, like right about there. And when you grab the bar, so the trick is to grab it and at an angle so that the bar sits on your palm like that. And you grab it at an angle turn it over and squeeze. So you rotate into it and squeeze so that it's in the meat of your palm. You don't want to be holding it like this, uh, you know, or just dig it in there. So you really want it to be in there and squeeze and it's in the meat of your palm. So there you go. So we have ready. And see, there's no tension here. So I don't want to start like this. So what I do is I put some tension in and I lower it until it hits my chest. And that's going to be my starting point for the bench press. And you're gonna just start and you push with control. So you want the velocity to be somewhat constant as you're pushing. Don't let it jerk. You're following it and you're pushing with constant velocity. And at the beginning, it gets harder as you're going. And see, I'm not so concerned with touching the bar right on my chest, but I do puff my chest out. It's my elbows. As my elbows hit the floor, that's when I know to start going back up. And I try really hard not to rest at the bottom. You wanna just keep moving. Take a deep breath. As it goes down, let it out as it goes up. push through. At some point your body's gonna say no, but you gotta push through that to get 
the fatigue. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Relaxing your neck. My head is pretty much relaxed. It's all the arms and the pecs. Ah, there's fatigue I can't do anymore. Whew. So that was, that was it. So I terminated there. And turn your head as you pull the bar over. Place it on the block behind you. And that's the end of your bench press set. It's a great set. We're gonna rest one to two minutes. Keep it under two minutes. It's, it actually feels really great. You get a great pump when you don't rest that long. But it's not the end of the world if you get interrupted in the middle of your set and you wanna go do some work. That's okay. Just go do some work. Come back if you're waiting 10 minutes. It's okay, you're still getting your workout in, you're still gonna really benefit from it. Don't stress about just getting back to work in two minutes. If you get a little distracted, that's okay. The main thing is to wait until your heart rate is down uh, and you're not sort of gasping as much. So the next movement, let's start talking about that, is going to be overhead press. Overhead press, unlike bench press, which we just did, notice bench press, you had two of the the band strands going under the plate. Uh, overhead press is, is going to be what we call a singled movement. So let's set that up. So let's take the plate, put it here, and we're gonna take the block, place it on top of the plate like that. And this is, so light green is too heavy, I think for me to do on video. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch down to a lighter band, say the white band, white band's good. So notice I'm loading it like this. I have it open towards me and I put the band over my hand like that. And I just load it up, hold the bar, load it up over here. And I'm gonna, this is a singled movement, logo out. So you can see the logo, there you go. So I lift the plate up. So it's very convenient, this plate. It has these, these gaps so that you can grab and move it, hold the bar. Load it up singled under that main channel. Bring the cork block back. Put it up there. Now we're ready for overhead press. Overhead press is going to target shoulders, also your triceps. It's also a great stabilizer movement for your lower body. If you're going really heavy on an overhead press, it's really important to protect your, your spine by keeping your core braced. You never want to relax your core. Your core has got to be busy and working. Even your quads and your hamstrings, like keep your legs tight, slightly bent when you do this movement. Okay, so this is uh, Gorilla Gains push day overhead press. We're gonna do as many reps as possible. Probably going to terminate in the 15 to 25 rep range. I know because I've used this band a lot. So let's do this. When you get into position for overhead press, you want to treat the start as like you're doing a squat. You don't want to just lift it up like you're curling because that can be rough on your back and also rough on your arms. So you get down low, squat like this, and then stand into it. So there we go. So now let's try. Do this. You want to keep your elbows in and you want the bar, you want to move your head out of the way of the bar. Not move the bar around your head. getting to that point where, where the muscles are hurting, but I'm pushing through it. It takes experience to know when you're here and resisting the urge to flare my elbows. Because uh, if you flare your elbows, it turns it into more of a tricep movement. Ah, now I've got nothing left. So squat down to place it down. See how I squatted at the end? I didn't just go, ooh 
drop it down. You could pull something if you just do it that way. At least you see a lot of people do that. So that was a good set. Overhead press, deltoids feeling on fire. Uh, if you're doing this with me, maybe you're done with your set by now. Sets generally take one to two minutes and you're probably feeling the burn in your delts, which is great. This is a great delt builder. All right, now let's take a rest. And during this time, we'll set up for the next movement. Uh, the next movement is going to hit the triceps. It's a seated overhead tricep extension. And we chose this movement because that evenly hits the whole tricep. There is also a variant that you can do lying down on the platform. Uh, that hits more of the long head. But if you're only gonna do one tricep extension, make it this one. For this movement, we're gonna set up the bar and platform in a singled configuration. Notice here I changed the rods. These are the T rods, which are kind of smaller. Works with any of our bars and any of our handles. I also put spacers on there to make it a little tighter. And when you add spacers, that gives you a very small increment in difficulty. So just like with weights, you can add a little bit of poundage there. All right, the rest is done. Let's get into position. So what I do is I pick up the cork block and the bar and I place it on the ground in front of the plate, like so around the middle. And then I sit down on the platform. And then I take the bar, put it under my legs, like so, get comfortable. And I grab about shoulder width apart on the bar. And what we're gonna do is put it up and over our head like so, and we're gonna keep the upper arm not moving while pushing the bar up. So let's go. Yeah, there's one rep. Nice and controlled, and keep your core tight while you're doing this movement. Try to keep your elbows forward and together. On that last rep. Oh, okay. Whew. And then you pull it over your head, place it back on the block. We did bench press, overhead press, and tricep extension. The last movement for today is going to be the front squat, which is pretty tough because <laughs> it's a full body exercise. I like to use rubber wedges to lift my heels during the front squat because I don't have great ankle mobility. If you have trouble even sort of sitting in the squat position, then you might wanna consider use, getting some heel risers like this. These are rubber wedges for squats. Basically anything that would work for a real squat rack would work for Harambe system. So I take these wedges and I place them around the cork block about hip width apart. That's gonna vary depending on your your body and take the bar. I'm gonna load up a light green band. Remember, if you're just starting, don't overshoot with the band. Go low with the bands at the beginning and work your way up. You're less likely to get hurt because remember this system can, can deliver a lot of force. I wanna start light. Okay, so I step into position, about hip width apart, and I go down and grab the bar, and stand up like I'm doing a deadlift, and then I squat down and I place the bar on, on my thighs, like so, and I hold it in sort of the, between my fingers and my thumb, and I pull it and put it on, like right on my neck. See, so it's like right on my neck, and I try to get the band there, so there, it's squeezing on your neck. That's when you know you're doing it right. You've got to really squeeze on the neck. And then I do this sort of prayer. You can also keep your hands there. Or you can do a prayer. And then let's do this. So you do as many as you can. As soon as even a supporting muscle fails, you want to stop. So as soon as your form breaks, that's when you need to stop.
So I'm keeping my core tight to support my upper body. Slow down. That last rep. Really get that burn. Place the bar back on the cork block. And that's the end of a good push day. Great workout. Thanks for watching.